All right, you are welcome again. Today, we want to talk about solutions to ordinary differential equation. Let's take a look at this question. We are to find the solution or we are to solve the differential equation dy dx minus 2y tan x is equal to y squared tan squared x. We are to solve this differential equation. Now, carefully looking at this differential equation, we see that this is a Bernoulli differential equation. Alright? Please, we have treated introduction to Bernoulli differential equation and some other videos. Please and please watch those videos for better understanding. Okay? Now, let's go. This is a differential equation and it is called a Bernoulli differential equation. It is different from linear differential equation. And what makes this to be different from linear differential equation is this y squared attached to tan squared x. So what we do here is we try to make this equation to look like linear differential equation by removing this y squared that makes it not to be linear differential equation so how can we remove this y squared that means we multiply by the inverse of this y squared so the inverse is y raised to power minus 2 so we are going to multiply through multiply everything by y raised to power minus 2 so multiplying we are going to have y raised to power minus 2 dy dx minus 2 tan x y multiplied by y raised to power minus 2 equal to y squared multiplied by y raised to power minus 2 tan squared x. All right? Good. So when we simplify, remove the things you can remove, we are going to have y raised to power minus 2 dy dx minus 2 tan x y raised to power minus 1 is equal to tan squared x. You remember, in this y raised to power minus 1, we see 1 minus 2. We apply the law of indices. We have the same base, different power. We add their powers, okay? So here it gives us 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1, all right? Good. Now let's go. You know, here that we are having y raised to power minus 1. Let's call it a letter Z. So we're going to say let Z be Y raised to power minus 1. Let Y raised to power minus 1 be called a letter what? Z. Let's call this equation 3. Okay? Now, let's differentiate this Z with respect to X. So differentiating this Z with respect to X, we differentiate this Y as if it is X. And then multiply it by dy dx. So that means we are going to bring this minus 1 down. And then we have y raised to power minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2. Then multiply it by dy dx. So we call this equation 4. All right? Good. Now, going back to equation 2, we can multiply equation 2 by 1 minus n. And what is n? n is 2 here that is the power of y in the right hand side okay so when you say 1 minus n and n is 2 that means you say 1 minus 2 is going to give you what minus 1 so we multiply the whole of equation 2 by this minus 1 so we are going to have minus 1 multiplied by y raised to power minus 2 dy dx so we will multiply minus 2 times x, y raised to the power minus 1 by minus 1. It's going to give you positive. So we have plus 2 times x, y raised to the power minus 1 is equal to multiply times x times square x by minus 1. It's going to give you minus times squared x. All right? Good. Let's call this equation 5. Now, fully now. We can substitute equation 3, equation 4, into equation 5. We are going to substitute equation 3 and equation 4 
into equation 5. So, do you, so we're going to have the z all over the x, you know, where we have minus 1, y raised to the power minus 2 dy dx, we replace it with what? The z all over the x. Then we have plus 2 tan x. In place of y raised to the power minus 1, we replace it with z equal to minus tan squared x. Carefully looking at this, it looks like a linear differential equation. Yes, this is how linear differential equation looks like. Where we have dy dx plus py is equal to q. So, but when we deduce Bernoulli differential equation to linear differential equation, we have something like dz all over dx plus p1z equal to q1. Now, comparing this Bernoulli equation with the equation we have now, we see that the coefficient of z is 2 tan x. We call it our p1. So we say that p1 is equal to 2 tan x. And then the q1 is our content in the right hand side, which is minus tan squared x. Okay, so here we have p1 is equal to 2 tan x. We integrate this p1 with respect to x. So that means we are going to say the integral of p1 dx is equal to the integral of 2 tan x. So we integrate 2 tan x is going to give us minus 2 ln cos x. Hello. When we integrate 2 tan x is going to give us minus 2 ln cos x. Okay. Now let's go. Let's take the integrating factor. So the integrating factor is the exponential of the integral of p1 dx. So we say the e or the exponential of the integral of p1 dx. So what do we have? We have exponential raised to the power minus 2 ln cos x. So these two behind we go in front of x. So we are going to have e raised to the power minus ln cos squared x. This is the law of law reading. Okay? So we are permitted to take the number to the front. Okay? So this minus is the same as saying 1 all over. Okay? It's the same as saying what? 1 all over. And then the exponential will cancel the lean. So we are going to have 1 all over cos squared x. Alright? Yes. So our integrating factor is what? 1 all over cos squared x. So, which is the same thing as saying sec squared x. Hello? Which is the same thing as saying what? Sec squared x. So, now, the solution to our differential equation is going to give us z multiplied by the integrating factor is equal to the integral of q multiplied by the integrating factor dx. Okay? Multiplied by the integrating factor dx. Now, let's go. Our integrating factor is what? Sec squared x. So, that means we have z sec squared x is equal to the integral of minus tan squared x, which is our q, multiplied by sec squared x dx hello do you understand this right good so here we have z cos squared x is equal to the integral of minus tan squared x multiplied by sec squared x dx okay so in this case now we're going to say let u equal to tan x so Let's replace tan x with a letter u. Anyway, we see tan x, we replace it with what? A letter u. So, but let's differentiate this u with respect to x. That means we're going to say the u all over the x. So, when we differentiate tan x, it's going to give us sec squared x. Let's cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we're going to have du is equal to sec squared x 
dx now you see that in this place where we are going to replace tan x with u we have sec square x dx so in place of sec square x dx we replace it with what with du so that means we are going to have z sec square x is equal to the integral of minus in place of tan squared x now we say u squared now sec square x dx we replace it with what du so here we have the integral of take minus outside we have minus u squared du hello do you understand the logic here okay thank you now let's go here we have z sec square x is equal to minus the integral of u squared du now let's integrate u integrating u square now we have u cube all over three remember we have minus outside right so here we have minus u cube all over 3 plus c but remember that u is what tan x so here we're going to have tan cube x so here we have minus tan cube x all over 3 plus c okay so here now you know we have z sec x so let's make z the subject that means we multiply this z now by the inverse of this sec and the inverse is what cos squared x so we will multiply sec squared x by cos squared x is going to give us what one so we multiply both side by cos squared x so when we do so we are going to have z is equal to cos squared x Double bracket minus tan cube x all over 3 plus c. Okay, but you remember that z is equal to y raised to the power minus 1. So in place of z now, we can replace it with y raised to the power minus 1. So in so doing, we're going to have y raised to the power minus 1 is equal to cos squared x over bracket minus tan cube x all over 3 plus c. And then you can go ahead and remove this minus one so we'll just transfer the inverse to the other side that means we are going to have cos squared x minus tan cube x all over three plus c all in bracket raised to power minus one all right yes so this is the solution to the differential equation dy dx minus two y tan x equal to y squared tan squared x all right yes thank you very much this is authority johnson if you are new to our youtube channel please subscribe like and share our videos stay blessed